Hey y'all, I'm Joe, and welcome to Station Ears, a game that my brother turned me on to. I had tried it a long time ago, but it's completely different than way back Wednesday when I first messed with this. And I have to say, I truly enjoy it, to the point I'm going to add it to the channel. Probably only come out once, maybe twice a week, but hey, it'll be there. And, oh, what can I say? It's fun. So we're going to go into a new game. We're going to go to Custom World. And we are going to Venus. Because Venus is hard. That's the moon, Joe. That's not Venus. Click Venus, please. Now, the only reason I am doing this is so I can make the world seed my wife's name is my NTHA, Cynthia. Because who better to kill me than my own wife? We want to get rid of that. I want to go stationary difficulty, preview atmosphere off. Oh, look at that. We has a mount. That's lovely. Ah, uh, I could always dig in. You know what? I don't want to be a dwarf man. I don't like, I'm a dwarf man on so many games, man. Dwarf daddy has to die. All right, while we're loading in, I want to talk about a few things. Making the game harder is something that I enjoy doing. It's kind of hard to mess with the with the environment, which is what I normally do on this game, because if you, if I tweak it too much, what the what? If I tweak it too much, then I'm just going to make it actually easier once I get to the point to where it's no longer a huge issue. We'll put that in there. I'll take that. Now, I got to kind of sort of maybe not not make a whole lot of sense when I'm talking here for a little bit because I am adding a couple conditions to how we play the game that one of those conditions being why am I angled in such a weird way here one of those conditions is that we can only breathe oxygen so what that means simply is we can't use we can't flip flop or waste tank so i'm going to go in here and hopefully my brain will stop panicking because this is kind of difficult especially on venus it is hot it has high pressure waste tank fills up quickly speaking of quickly let's go ahead and raise our target temperature to about 50. that will give us a little bit of breathing room i think for a little bit whether that is true or not i don't know but it feels like it is because that is how i managed to pull this off when i was even considering this a possibility of a thing one could do and it is a lot of fun granted i failed <laughs> more times than i can freaking count at doing this little challenge Ah, it's so rough on Venus, man. It really is. And I truly wish that I could have made it more difficult than what it already is. But when I was tweaking around with the environmentals, all I managed to do is make it easier in the long run. And that's not something I like. I want the difficulty to stay. And the best way, honestly, that I've discovered to keep the difficulty around is honestly just add a few conditions to how I play and then continue on from there. You're gonna notice that I sound really odd right now. It's kind of almost stoppy in my voice and I do apologize, but my brain can only do so much at once and talking while panic mode and trying to make a actual good conversation here is quite difficult, honestly. All right, what I should have done and what I didn't do is grab this auto lay. Not that it truly matters, but that would have just, I feel like it might have given us a few precious seconds here. I want to go ahead while we're here and split one, split one. We'll put you in there like that. And we'll set you here like this. I'm going to go ahead and split half on you and we'll be good to go. I need the metal and I need my arc welder. Perfect. What do I do with you? Put you back in there like that. Bring you down. Switch back over. Yeah. Hunger is a, a thing. Oh no. No, hunger is not a thing. I have a th I have a video playing in the in the background to kind of help me concentrate. And 
Yeah, they're they're currently dying. They're currently dying. Uh, we can go like this. We can go like that. And now we can introduce. Uh, now we can introduce you into there, but not my gables, please. That would be game over for us, my friends. Again, I do apologize about the way I'm speaking right now. It's a little panic mode. Everything looks good. I am going to kick this into gear right here, and then I am going to go off and do some mining. All right, we need the pipe bender back into rush mode. I've gone out, done a few little things for us here. Grab some ore. Hopefully, we make it in time, mother trucker. Don't tell me. Yep. No, you you were good. I was just using the wrong thing. Probably you're gonna fail because of that. All right, I'm gonna need you like this for now. Get you here. Waste tank caution, darling. I know. Please let me live. I just want to make it through this so we can start doing some cool stuff. Hopefully, we make it that far. What the heck? Oh, you you finally died on me. Of course, that might have that might slow me down to the point of no return. Hopefully, it does not. We just gotta get this going and these little mistakes that I keep making right here is how we're gonna die 83 percent it's stress it is stress right here fam it really is all right we're in locks in dump you don't not tell me that we are out of steel holy cow okay do that do that I guess I'll put some copper over here I just need how many things of it was it again we're at 89% I think we're I think we're in the clear who in the clear boys in the clear all right turn that off grab that I'm going to do a thing up here as well and I might go back and fill up the mining belt and then I will come right back. All right, we're topped off and finally, finally we can take a few moments here to just breathe a little bit. So there are a few things in this game that are considered exploits and we are going to avoid those things like the plague. For example, here on Venus, you can create what's called a vacuum room. That vacuum room will then... Ooh, don't want to do that. You can basically suck all the atmosphere out of a room, make it super, super cold. Well, actually, it wouldn't really be super cold. It would have no temperature, just by the way it works. I need you. But that is an exploit. That will give you basically you can you can you can blah 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 blah. You can do that, and then you you just remove all need for cooling because you can create a room and you can dump all your heat into that room the game deletes the heat instantly and you're left over with a freebie that was absolutely fail on my part well no 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 that's a that's a good spot for that what is a fail though i can kind of take my time now though thankfully i, I can breathe for a moment so i can kind of Kind of, kind of slow down here a little bit, maybe sorta. Uh, I think it's the red one. But these things are in, uh, and I was right. You know what? Let me go ahead and just get this while we're here. Let's get the other one. Nope. Let's get the other one. I'm gonna be pretty liberal with my jetpack use throughout this playthrough, because we have a perfect atmosphere to suck gas into a tank, <laughs> and Ah, oh, it's super easy to just refill the refill the jetpack. So it's I'm going to be using it pretty liberal and having no no fear whatsoever. Well, that's currently charging you right now. That is fantastical. Um, but let me open up the old mining belt here. I really didn't go off and do a whole lot. Cuz after I topped everything off, brought that down here, I was like, "You know what? I literally just said 5 seconds ago that I did some mining." So we're perfectly okay in that point out this way though hello beautiful ice you rare commodity you 
The one thing about Venus, and let me tell you, fam, listen to me. We have no oxide. We have an atmosphere that is pretty okay from what I understand. You know, we got a lot of CO2. It's great for plants if we ever get plants. We last that long. We have 22 moles. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know what all this crap means, y'all. I just play the game and try not to die. And I've done that dying part a lot. A lot. But we have some nitrogen, which is pretty cool. And we have a little bit of pollutant, a pollutant, which I hear is really good for like your pipe networks and stuff whenever you're doing things to like, I don't know, cool your base maybe. So we're going to take advantage of that later on sometime. Not anytime soon. Because we still got to, we still got to manage even the idea of cooling our base. I have some pretty cool ideas on how to do it. I'm thinking about doing like a daisy chain of rooms. You know, one room. Cool in one room, cool in one room, cool in one room. I don't know if that would be exploitive. I think it would be a serious power hog, though. However, I have learned, since derping around on this game, that we can actually do some pretty cool cooling with some ACs. And it's not exploitive because, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's exploitive or not, now that I think about it. I don't think it is. Cause it's kind of, to me, seems like that's how it's supposed to work. Sorry about not having a lot on y'all. I was kind of thinking there. This game, you know, I like it. But it requires my brain to do a lot more than what my brain is used to doing. So, complications happen when that happens. Okay, back here. While everything is going on. You know, I bet we, I bet we got you... I'm going to go ahead and just keep all of you in you, but not the copper, not the copper, put you there and let's go ahead and get this. My plans right now is we're just going to rush steel. We are absolutely going to go mad dash for steel because steel gives us insulated thingies. Let me go ahead and get a little bit more of you. I also need a little bit more of the iron, the ironies, and a little bit of this gold. But let me go ahead and split half of that. We're only going to do 25 gold. You know what? Let's probably split that. Let's go with 12. I like 12. 12 is a lot better than 13 because it's even. Actually, even though I 13 would be more along the lines of what I, how I kind of function and do things, considering I always build with odd numbers. Now that I feel... Now that I've said that, now I feel bad for the 13. I feel like I've betrayed my whole lifestyle here. <laughs> I, I, my brain has gone off on a tangent here that doesn't even make whole much, whole much, whole much sense. I can't even speak now. Good God. To do this, we might as well go ahead and get prepped for the next part of the plan, which is power. I want to get some power up and going, and to do that, we're going to need an electronics printer thingy. And we're going to need an area over here. A one and a two and a three. Waste tank yes, Temperature yes. Waste five. tank is critical. Appreciate critical. you for letting me know, darling. My survival is the top of my prioritize. Kind of going to clean this up a little bit. None of this base area is permanent in any way. And just in case you're wondering, yes, it would have been... A little different to like make a room first kind of like a little base area kind of a thing but doing something like that would mean I plan on dumping my the contents of whatever it is that I've got going on into that room I could have done that but I couldn't figure out how to get the contents out of it or keeping the contents in that room when I was going in and out of uh, like uh, blah, whatever it is called there, in and out of the room. I couldn't figure out how to keep it in there with just the stuff that I had. So, that led me to the whole brute force method, which is the method that we used for this. All right, you turn off. And what did I have in there? Copper, okay. Give me a little bit more iron. Nope, let's turn you back on, obviously. That's how that thing works. 
I want to put you back here. We'll put our tool away. We're shooting for the electronic splinter, splinter, printer, mother trucker. Words. Uh, this medicine is this this new stuff that I'm on. It's it's yeah. I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Let me go to the printer here. I might have already have uh, set this up before. We do need some iron, iron, iron. I don't know what is going on with me here lately, but every time I say iron, I want to say iron. Need some iron, iron. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, we only need two gold for that, which is which is really good, because the the iron. See, I almost did it again. It's hard. I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. You know what? My brain wants to go there. I'm just gonna let it go there. So now that we got the iron out of the way, <laughs> I feel so stupid saying that. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So after we got that, we're gonna go for the electronics printer, and then we're gonna go for turbines, wind turbines. I wanna go six wind turbines right out the gate. And let me grab you. I'll toss you in there. We're gonna go ahead and pop that. Ah. Uh, so, I mean, we literally right down to the line, fam. Right down to the line. Ah, uh, this it, this start this start is hard. I mean, I'm sure that you all, I'm sure you all could have done this so much easier, had a better idea. But literally, my plan for survival came down to what it usually does, and that's brute force tactics. So, I just, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. And it it, it sort of kind of sort of worked, sort of not, but. We're alive still, and that's all that matters. One electronic printer coming right up. And you're gonna come up right about there. You're over here. I'm kind of afraid, maybe, to put any of that over there. Let's get you started. I'm gonna need a little bit more iron for you. So let's pop in our last stack. Probably should have did a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 let's, let's put you on pause there, brothers, put you on pause. If I put, I could put you anywhere, can I? Well, you just don't even care. Well, hey, put you like that, I'm going to put you in the air. Where is my, where's my one tank? What'd I do with it? Why did I put you over here? I am a genius incarnate. I'm going to get this guy. Placed on top of this connector, like so. Maybe. Probably not. This was a horrible plan. It was a horrible plan from the very beginning. Air tank is low. Yes, darling. Yes, I know. Appreciate you for letting me know, though, of something that I already know. All right. Put you back down. Yeah. I, I was trying to... I thought I was clever. I wasn't clever. So let's, let's do it the correct way. Uh, I suppose this is a correct way. Well, I guess really there is no correct way. I could put you like that. Let me go ahead and this time have the rinse, rinse, wrench in my hand when I put you down and bang. This way, if this is connected to this thing, this thing won't take damage during a storm. And I'm not going to be building a base anytime soon. There's just a few things that I want to have prepped and ready to go before I even get to the point to where building a base is something that I should be thinking about. Well, actually, it's not going to be very far away because honestly, as soon as we get steel, it's base building time. And it's not that I'm building the base out of steel. There are just certain things that I want to have before I even, I even think about worrying about anything else, which this is Kind of a sad times right here because what I want is didn't want to put all that steel in there because I kind of need that for other not steel, that iron. I kind of need that for other things. But while that's going, let's get this electronics printer up to snuff. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that I make the time limit for steel this episode. Why is brain not working? Whoa, mother trucker, you trying to kill me? I didn't do anything to you. What? Let me put this down over here like that. And by like that, I mean, we're going to go, we're going to grab the correct tool. Now we're going to go kind of like that. That'll work. That's perfect. Fantastic. That shouldn't, that should, this is going to get hot. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably. I mean, it's not that it matters. It's still going to get hot, but hey, let's pop. I think there's something with less pop. 
I'm not sure the less you have, it's less of an area that kind of heats everything up. And I can kind of look at it like this, 23 degrees. What about this down here? 23.4.5. It's heating up slowly, which is okay because by the time this becomes a problem, we'll be on to other things where we don't even have to worry about that. Hopefully. That's the dream, fam. That is the dream to be to the point to where we have cooled oxygen to breathe because we're going to be outside a lot out in this beautiful, beautiful weather here on Venus. Such a lovely place. I should come here more often. All right, where was we at? We need a welding torch, right? And some plastics. Pump you up like that. And then I got to go on a big old mining run. Oh, yeah, screwdriver. Screwdriver last step, son. Put you back up there. Grab a Jew and grab a Jew. And let's just kind of sort of maybe kind of plop things down like this. Then we're going to consolidate our resources. I'm probably going to have to do quite a bit more mine in here to get what I get done, what I want done. Waste tank, caution. Waste tank is a caution. What I want done, apparently, is to stop messing up Joe. Do, do the things correctly and you won't die, my friend. Okay. You know, I should probably go ahead and make two of these. Since I'm going to be stuffing all of my iron over into that other spot. Do I have any? Uh, you know what? I can go ahead and knock out some gold while I'm here. Yeah. Getting two of these would probably be a fantastical idea. Having all of that extra is not a bad thing. Ooh, tight squeeze over here. And like I said, none of this, none of this is going to be here forever. It's all going to get ripped up, moved, replaced. This is all super 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 temporary because i want to get i want i want insulated pipes i want insulated tanks before i do anything whatsoever and to do that we not power joe wind good job me way to fail way to fail at that one let's try one more time let's click the thing not enter okay we have enough gold Enough comp. We have enough gold to make two. We do have enough copper to make four. We just need more gold. Well, hey, what did I put in here? Thankfully, I was smart enough to toss some gold in there. And that's ten. Will that give us four? It should. Yeah. Yeah. Math is right, even though I'm not good at math. I don't math well. Pop you there. Oh, wait. I wanted... I wanted more than that. I wanted a lot more than that. Okay. We will get these put up. At least. At least we'll get the four put up. Pop you in like that. I need to grab the cable. We're going to need more cable. Though, in other words, we're just going to need a ton of copper. Copper is in our life. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Just enough. Well, actually, I feel like, they, I feel like we had one left over here. What if I just go like this? What if I do that? Let's go ahead. What is this madness? Huh. I thought that used up like a... Well, I learn things every day. Let me go ahead. Can I... Yes, I can. I can pick up two at once. Once we get this down... Now this spot right here... This could be the field of dreams, and by dreams, I mean windmills, because these are a pretty good power source. I like them. They're kind of unreliable and kind of, I mean, they're, they're pretty freaking unreliable, but I love them because when they work, they work. And we have this little guy here. We'll put some solar panels in. I don't want a lot, probably like maybe 10. I don't know if 10 a lot, but I feel like 10 is how much that I want to, uh, I want to deal with. Power is on its way. We need some more. We need some more of everything. So mining, I go. One and two. Not sure, really, though, if I need to place these things out like this or not. But this could be a permanent addition to the base. And I kind of like my aesthetics. So, yeah, in the center of the block they go. Looks good. Looks clean. We're getting power. Everything over here is turned off, maybe. 
Do I need anything out of here? I do not think that I do. However, I need you to go in there. I went ahead and picked us up some silicon because we are going to need that here relatively soon. If all goes well, that is. I'm hoping all goes well. Let me just chuck you in there. Squeeze my way through all of this mess that I have made here with this little temporary kind of deal. And yeah, yeah, now we make a furnace. Let's see, furnace. All right, could have made that a lot sooner, possibly. Let's go ahead and turn you off, conserve as much power as possible. Keep this little light right there green. How's my battery looking? You know, while it's like that, since that's 100%, let's go ahead and snatch you up. While that is cooking, let me grab these. Um, maybe I'll come right here with this kind of shenanigan thing. I'm not 100% sure exactly how I'm going to set this up. Y'all going to laugh though, because me and this furnace, man, we just do not... What the heck? We just do not get along. I have the hardest time getting it to work correctly. Especially on Venus. You know, on Mars or places like that. Waste tank caution. Appreciate. Oh, wait. No, I don't need to change it yet. I just need to wait. Waiting is the best way. Okay, I think this is going to be fine for we're going to put the furnace. Furnace? Furnace? Furnace. I think putting the furnace right there is going to be fine. Oh, look at you, beautiful windmills. I love you. We're going to have like thousands of you. We're going to just going to... We're just going to send you off into the render. There's gonna be so many windmills, I'm telling you. Windmills are my favorite. All right, we got a we got a hot minute still left on you. Let me pop up here. I am gonna need where'd I put them? I'm gonna need these guys. What else am I gonna need? Um, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do this business. So let's kind of kind of go like this you know what? we'll we'll do that business after we set down the the furnace which is right here lovely are you making another one you are not definitely gonna need some more iron there's some more iron right there okay i have two waste tanks left let me just put everything in here turn that off for now i am gonna need Hmm. Did I do... Waste tank critical. Temperature high. Temperature critical. I think I'm going to go volume pump. High. One volume pump. I'm not 100% sure on how, how I should do this. Okay. I don't know. Volume pump, probably a good idea. Uh, let me grab some of these. Speaking of some of these, let's just go ahead and set this up right fast. How are you looking right there? That should be fun. Put you just like that. And I'm gonna fill this in because I don't I don't like how this feels doing that. Oh boy, a lot a lot is going in. A lot is going into this. And the extra challenges don't make it any easier. But honestly. The normal games that I'm used to, it's there's a, there's a lot more danger in those games, the ones that I normally play. So amping the difficulty up on this game gives me that super sense of accomplishment. You know, when I survive, when I survive against all odds kind of thing. Nope, won't you like that? So I can flip you over like that. The other aspect of this game, why I find it so enjoyable, is just the coolness factor of the things that you make like what i'm about to do right here i won't you here like this i need one more console but first let me kind of do the piping probably gonna need some more pipe what is what is you 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 to output so you to input nope nope go back to you Go to a T-junction like that. And then I can put my volume pump right here. By not messing up. Now I think I also have to have 
a straight pipe here. Not 100% sure if that's true or not, but I think I do. Alright. Now, for this part down here, we just need that. Is this going to work here? No, it's not. Ooh, that's not going to work either. But it needs to be there. So, move this out of the way. Perfect. Perfect in every way. Now, I can put this thing like that. And that'll match up perfectly. One of those. Like this. Just in case I keep th this ends up staying here longer than what I planned for it to stay there. We can pump in atmosphere here and then we can just do copper and gold all day long. From right there because of the temperature we have out here. I can go ahead and I can do that. The next thing I'm going to want is a canister storage. Whoa. Trying to kill me. I'm telling you. Game's out for me. Alright. I'm going to need some... And by some, I think it's just one passive vent. Yeah, just one passive vent. And you know what? I, I am going to need another volume pump. I like these volume pumps, man. I, I use them in a lot of a lot of my little shenanigans that I try to that I try to concoct. And with this, I think we might be getting to a point where we're going to make some steel. Now again, I've kind of used a similar thing to this before, so I'm not 100% sure if it will work on this planet. Uh, air tank low, air tank low. Air tank low. Okay, grab you, grab you there. Air tank is good, darling. Air tank is good. Um, I've not. Like I said, I've I've played I've played quite a bit on Venus, right? I have. And I love it. This is my favorite map. Super cool. Super hard. That's why I like it. But I didn't have all these extra little challenges in play. Hmm. So I'm gonna put one of my waste tanks in here. We're gonna force the oxygen into here. And we're going to drop some volatiles in it and make it go boom. Hopefully the boom stays inside this and not outside of this. Or I might... I might pop... I might just do this. Right? I might just grab some oxygen from here. And then control it to go into here. And figure it out from there. I think that would be better because the the waste tank has dirty oxygen and I would I would much rather put waste in tank. I think we can afford one shot and we'll make we'll make like uh whatever two sets of the recipe is. We'll we'll, we'll do that. I think that's going to be the best route to go for what I'm trying to do. That will give us enough steel to do all the other things that I want to do to get everything set up the way I want it set up. So I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be good on that part. Now I can go like this, drop you there. Ooh, no, no. Is this the right button? Dang it, that's the wrong button. That's the right button. I'm not used to these controls, y'all. I will get them down. It's not like on Space Engineers where I could just... Da, 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 I'm done. If I push the button here, you go up that way. Are you going to blow my brains out? I hope not. I hope not. I wonder if this vent will even fit on here now. It will not. So I'm going to have to go there. That should be fine. I mean... I don't know what bad things could happen. I could put a wall there. That would stop the bad completely. I'm going to get this finished. I'm going to finish setting this up. I'm going to grab all the material we need to make steel. I'm going to fix this hole. And I think that's the plan. No, oh man, we need to, we need to pop ourselves a little H2O into our belly here. Um, I uh, did this for a reason. We need to unlock the helmet. 
to be able to drink and eat, that's fine. Nothing like a little bit of scalding heat on the lungs to just help a good engineer up every morning. Okay, I think I got this situated to some degree. Hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop some of this in there. Oh, that's right. I think, I think it needs some app yet. Yeah, it did need some atmosphere before it started doing the processing part. Let's get, ooh, now. Easy, boy. Easy. Let's get everything kind of ready. I wonder if I can just sit up here and just wait for this to happen. Is that a thing? It appears it is. Well, this might take a minute. I didn't think about that. But I kind of wanted to do all this on the cameras. Huh. And again, I don't know if I should be putting the material in first or not. It, it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what causes the issues, but I'm going to figure it out today. No, I'm not. I'm going to fail miserably. I know I am. Once we get the coal in there, then I'm going to try... Um, Like I said, I'm going to try to snatch some of this. I don't want to use a lot of it. We have an empty tank that I can kind of use, and we'll kind of juggle those around maybe somehow. I don't know how we're going to juggle that around just yet. I'll figure it out. Ooh, wrong button. Okay. Last one in. Well, maybe. Hold on a second. Let me just see what all is in this. Okay, it's 98% O2. Perfect. I'll just use that. Why not? How many moles was this in again? 52 moles? Why do you have nitrogen in you now? It's because I put you out there to do the thing. Uh, before any of that happens, I want to completely empty the, the atmosphere in here. Get rid of all that CO2. Get rid of all of the everything in here, especially the CO2. I don't know if like there's like a volume limit to the furnace. That's probably something that I should look up in the future. Again, not 100% sure on all of this stuff. But I'm thinking I'm just going to put all of that oxygen in there, house in a bunch of volatiles, and pray. That's the plan. That is the plan. I think I'm just going to toss 11 in there. Why the heck not? All right, you are almost completely drained out. Almost. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Actually, everything in here is still fine. 1.4 megapascals. 20 moles of oxygen. I'm going to dump 20 moles of oxygen straight into there. I wonder how that, that nitrogen got in there. Is it because it was so strange? I don't. Well, maybe it was like open, right? Because I did pull it straight out of my thingy. Maybe it was open, like the valve on it was open, and that's how it got in there. A little weird, but hey, almost drained out. I wonder if I should just call it good right there. Mm, no, it's almost empty. Almost. You know what? We'll just call it good right there now look at you if I turn you on are we even getting anything in there no oh, oh I didn't have you cranked up that was the problem okay 15, 17, 19 that that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Let's see if I blow us up here. All right. So one thing. All right. If I aim this correctly. If I get into the right spot. I think this is the right spot. And if we split half. Yep. Perfect. What is our temperature? We can make steel. Where'd you go? Don't you, don't you run from me. You get back over here. 
Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm going to have to remember that. 20 moles. 20 moles and 11 volatiles. I got to write that down. I got to make some notes. We still have a good amount of heat and pressure in there. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know what I'm wondering. Now, nah, the temperature is slowly going down, so I doubt that I would have enough. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough. I wouldn't have enough time to make any more steel right now, but I'm going to leave that going. Because that should be fine. And I'm thinking I might just put like a valve in here and then run this and then we can just do our gold and copper in there from now on. But with steel, we can pump you in there. No, 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 no. The very first thing that we want to do with our newfound steel is the most important important thing that I can think of to survive Venus we're gonna make that right now this is gonna make or break us and that is the big boy fridge ah oh, no copper oh hey there's some copper ask and you shall receive oh look at that as I said before this is gonna make or break us right here ah oh, come to me my friend you are everything I want in life um Well, I screwed up. I was sitting here thinking, do I want to place it like one way or the other? And I guess I could kind of sort of do it like this. That way I can still, you know, not struggle with getting to it, I guess. I don't know if I'd even struggle, to be honest. Good job, me. Way to just drop the pliers. I need to hook this puppy up right fast. He's going to save her life right here. All right. Turning it on is key. So, I got you, darling. I got you. We were 10 hours in there, 28 hours like that. And if we close it for just a second, I think it updates to even more of the hours. And this is, this is good. I didn't have to use like my pure oxygen over here, to do that, which we still used some. I think we used all of it, honestly. There's five moles left in there. That ain't going to do nothing. I don't think. I don't know. There's probably some way that that could be used to like fire up another batch of freaking steel for all I know. What did I want? What did I want? I wanted to come over here. Yep. Ten hours on all of this business. This food. What are you at? 93 hours. Good. So as long as we keep this closed, we will be a-okay. For quite a while that'll give me more than enough time to get us to a point to where we can start trading um oh yeah another rule for the trader only food and honestly it's probably gonna be only seeds yeah 93 hours in there uh son this is what i was stressing over the most in life I can go ahead and stop pushing the wrong buttons, get us another thing of water that we can carry around, put a little, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just munch on this cereal bar a little bit here. Oh, that's good. Everything for episode one has been successful. As it stands right now, this is going to be a weekly release, um, but I'll let you all decide, honestly. If you'd like to see more Stationeers on the channel, you let me know. We'll drop out some more stationers. And as always, my friends, I am going to enjoy my time on stationers. So I hope you enjoy yours. And I will see you next time on Hardcore Survival.